White Kukwaitip. I'm here at the Unistotin camp, the Wet'suwet'en territory. I'm here with Frida. This is her territory. I'm here to show solidarity from the Sukhwatmuk Nation. This area is very important to the people, not only for the people here, but also for all indigenous people, the stance that is being taken against the pipelines and defense of our territories, against the British Columbia government, the Crown, and Canada. Well, welcome here, I'm Frida Houston. This is my people's territory here. We're on the river of the Witsinkwa, which is the Morris River. And this is where we get our drinking water. This is where our salmon spawn. And the Morris River flows into the Buckling and into the Skeena and then eventually flows into the, the ocean. So everybody's impacted by these waters. Our salmon spawn here, they go back up to Alaska in four years, they come back. So we're protecting that, that's our main food source. And behind me is my home. I live in a cabin, which I've been living here for three years. And we have a bunkhouse that was built where any supporters or visitors come in and want to spend time here to learn about what we're doing, they stay in the bunkhouse. And we just now built a healing center, which will, it now has a dining hall and a kitchen, it's a fully functional kitchen, like a commercial kitchen where it feeds up to hundreds of people and we prepare food for all the supporters that come in and basically people come here and they've already said they're receiving healing even though we haven't formally started our healing center. A lot of people come here and said they receive healing because of the atmosphere here, the clean water, the, all the minerals intact that they drink water right from the river and the food is healthy so people are being healthy just by healthy eating and physical exercise because you have to pack water and you have to wash your laundry by hand and hang it up and you have to prepare all your food everybody takes their part and you have to chop wood to stay warm you have to chop wood pack wood in so Everything is this like healthy living here and we're teaching them about what we're doing here and how we're trying to protect the environment and, and right now we have moose hanging up in the smokehouse so we're going to have organs tonight, can't wait. And, and the reason why we have this gate behind us, we were forced to put it up because before we just had a little chain and we had legal authorities from the colonial state trying to forced their way in here and threatening to arrest our people so we were forced to put up this wooden gate we did a call out because the things ended up getting escalated because we had police checkpoints down at 27 kilometer or stopping all our vehicles harassing every person that was coming to the camp even though they keep denying that they were targeting our camp they were targeting our camp and harassing a lot of the supporters threatening them to be deported and never be allowed back in Canada because they had US plates and the coastal gas link workers were trying to get in more and more, like there's a lot of helicopter activity and them trying to get in in the Chisholm, then they got the police involved, so things started heated and we lost a lot of police activity in Houston and Smithers and those numbers haven't gone down. And it looks to me like they have police in their security cars. They're not regular security people, they've actually employed police from all over that actually work with the pipeline companies driving their security vehicles and we've been escorted every time we go out, escorted going out, escorted going in. So there is still a lot of police activity even though they deny it to the media, we know they're there and we don't know what they're doing but we do know the Harper government's got an agenda and same with Christy Clark, it's election time, they may be trying to make an example out of us to get votes or to prevent votes, I don't know. But I know they're up to something. So we did a call out to get more supports out here because we feel that the more people we have out here, the higher numbers, it'll be harder for them to deal with. Yeah, we're like 65 kilometers into the backcountry from Houston, BC. And like Frida said, it's really important for other people to show solidarity. If they can't make it up here to Unistotin camp, to do what they can in other places across Canada and the United States to keep attention on this issue. We cannot let um, the RCMP in Canada think that they could come and take our people, forcibly remove from them, them from the land. Indigenous people everywhere, people everywhere that depend on water, 
to defend our water, to protect our sacred water, need to stand up now. This is the time and we give much respect and we put our hands up to Unistotin for, for making an example of all of us what we should be doing in defense of our territory. So thank you. Thank you.